All right, guys, what's up? Hey, I am out here. Uh, it's the end of August. We got all done with grain. We're getting these pivots started back up. As you can see behind me here, I thought, so I'm on this pivot. If y'all remember, uh, we tried out those Galileo, Galileo wheels, which are right here behind me. So I thought I'd kind of give you an update. I am soaking wet. Uh, I'm just cleaning out all the plug nozzles, but if we look at the depth of these pivot tracks on these Galileo wheels, they hardly, I mean, maybe a couple of inches, but they're flat. Uh, they didn't push out hardly any. There's no ridges on the side. Let's see if I can kind of show you this direction. Uh, we'll get down. See, there's hardly any ridge that comes out to make a you know, to make a deep wheel track to get it stuck, you know, as you can look. So how they, how they get stuck are those gearboxes right there uh, kind of hang up. It is a long ways from hanging up. These Galileo wheels are awesome. I'd recommend them to anybody. Uh, I know they're kind of pricey, but the time you spend or the time you would save that you're not going out and getting all these pivots unstuck you know, if we figure we got 30 some pivots and I can't remember how many tires and wheels that we talked about that we had, but we have a lot and a lot of flat tires. These will never go flat. They'll never get stuck. They don't leave huge tracks. So some of the pivots where we're hauling manure right now, you know, a mile over this way, uh, my guy said, Hey, we're hauling manure on that pivot. Can you come disc up the wheel tracks? Cause some of them are getting pretty deep. Well, that's one thing that you wouldn't have to do with Galileo wheels because the pivot tracks aren't that deep. So the trucks, when they go over them or the tractors or whatever, aren't going to, you're not going to break anything. You're not going to break your pickups uh, going out to the pivot centers, checking them. Uh, we only put them on two towers. We had four wheels and I did look at the end of the other tower um, and they're looking just as good. So, uh, you know, you have any comments, questions, concern about these Galileo wheels, they do an awesome job. Uh, go ahead and look them up. I just made a video on the Galileo wheels, how they don't dig ruts, and this is not a Galileo wheel. And so I thought I'd show you a little bit. When we say pivots get stuck, <clears throat> I talked Brandy out into coming out here and helping me dig this pivot out because it's uh, usually not very fun. But there gets really deep ruts. I know camera, it doesn't do it justice. Uh, this is a normal shovel. You know, that's just the depth of the water. <clears throat> but it's got a deep right here. This pivot we call the hills. So it just has a little hill in it, but it all runs down. And you can see right here, it kind of goes up and down depending on how fast the pivot's going and the, the mud kind of runs down the hill after it goes past. Well, then it builds up a little bit like this. And so this tire is not really stuck. But that one is trying to climb, you know, a hill or a, a hard spot that's half as big as the tire. And then on the other side of the pivot over here, <coughs> we can look and see that the gearbox right here, the gearbox is dragging in the mud. So if I could take a shovel here, sorry, it's a little shaky. We're gonna have to shovel out that gearbox <clears throat> because it's just gonna be pushing the dirt right here. So we'll shovel it out a little bit and then, then what we do is we will have one person go to the pivot center. We'll knock these clumps of dirt off of the, the tread and then one person will go to the pivot center. Basically, this is the last tower so you have to hold forward so we'll just keep turning and turning and turning. But as it turns slowly, one person will be out here knocking the mud off. And so it will just gradually grab the mud and uh, hopefully work back out. But this is another reason why Galileo wheels, that's the pivot right there that, that has the, the four Galileo tires and wheels on it. And that one usually always gets stuck because it does the same hill right here. It's the same hill. This is just a hay field. That one usually always gets stuck and has a huge trench just right over there. You can see a little bit of a dirt hill 
but uh, nothing, it hasn't done anything like, like this one has or like it has done in the past. So anyway, we'll keep digging this one out and we'll show you again when we get it all dug out. Okay, now you can see Brandy and I got it dug out. I'm sending her to the pivot center, but we kind of got it dug out. Okay, we knocked all the dry dirt off of both tires. And over here on this other side, you can see the bottom of the gearbox now. By the time it comes out, it should go up over that. So now she's gonna go and hold, this is a Ranky pivot. Um, she's gonna go and hold the system override button. Because this is the last tower, um, it will not get out of a line because all the pivots drive and mostly are aligned off of the last tower. Um, that's kind of how they run. And so she can hold the system override in and nothing else is going to move because they, those don't move until after this one moves first. So she is just about there. I told her to hold it in and hopefully it goes. I know sometimes we have to you know, just keep cleaning off the cleats. But it's been off since this morning, so it's kind of dried out a little bit. I think it'll walk out without too many issues. But we will see here in a second. I did give her instructions, and uh, they weren't rocket science, so I just said hold in the system override button until it will click and the screen turns green. All right, there it goes. It's still kind of struggling. And there it's pulling itself out of the mud. So this one wasn't horrible to get unstuck. See, now it probably clicked. The next one's going. And so I think it would be good to go. But the next time it goes around, it's gonna have to climb up those same ruts so probably what we could try and do is get the pivot track filler um, and go through it. That way it won't have such deep ruts. Hopefully we'll just pack them in. But anyway, that is how you get a pivot unstuck. At least the last tower, this one was uh, fairly simple. And so. uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe for more content. And uh, I'm going to go get a little more wet. Luckily it's about 90 degrees today. Have a good one.